What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. In today's short video, we're gonna talk about the rule of thirds, what it is, and how we can use it to plan safe dives. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a deep technical diver, maybe you're an overhead environment cave diver, or you're just a shallow reef recreational diver, we can all use the rule of thirds to plan safe dives. And in short, what the rule of thirds is, is simply taking your total pressure of your cylinder, dividing it into three sections, and using each section at different stages throughout the dive. So the first session, or section, we're going to call that the starting pressure. The next we'll call it the turning pressure. And then the last, of course, is the ending pressure. The starting pressure is how much, however much air you actually start with. Once you've reached that first third, if you will, then the turn pressure is how much air we're going to use to make it back to the exit point, say the anchor line or out of that cave section, if you will. And then, of course, the last is what we're completely out of the water with and we have for reserve or in emergencies. Now, when we plan this out, we're just going to use a standard aluminum 80 cubic foot cylinder with 3,000 PSI. If I take 3,000 and simply divide it by three, that's going to give me 1,000 PSI incrementations to work with. Now, for my metric guys, we're going to use a 200 200 bar cylinder if you will and I'm actually going to take that 200 bar and shorten it down to say 195 bar just for easier math so that I don't have any decimal points to worry about. If I take 195 bar and divide it out by three that gives me 65 bar incrementations to work with. I'm going to start my dive with 195 bar. I will turn at 130 bar and then of course I'll end with 65 bar. It doesn't really matter the size of the cylinder or however many cylinders. You, you simply take the total working pressure of that cylinder and divide it out by three. Now I use the word working pressure there because I need to understand exactly what is working pressure and what is ending pressure. Ending pressure is that reserve. It's what's left over in case of an emergency. The working pressure will always be the two-thirds of your total pressure. So in this particular situation with a 3,000 PSI, two-thirds of that is 2,000 PSI. So when I plan out a dive, I need to understand I only have that 2,000 PSI to actually make the dive on. And this is important because based off what your sac rate and your RMV rate is, you may need to take a larger cylinder to make this particular dive or take extra cylinders with you just to be safe. So if you're curious to know how to calculate your sac rate or your RMV rate, check out the videos down in the description below and those links. Simply click on them and I'll go into detail of how to plan out your sac rate and your RMV rate and how to use the rule of thirds to plan safe diving. Guys, if you found this video helpful, simply smash that like button for me or if you know a diver who's having a little bit of trouble with dive planning and dive theory, simply share this video with them and hopefully it'll help them out as well. But guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.